Hey guys, and welcome to this next video of mine. I'm filling a page with ponies. So feel free to grab your pencils and come along with me. Hi, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought for today's video I would sort of challenge myself to see how many horses I could draw in an hour. Now, this video is massively sped up, so don't worry, you're not going to be sat here for the whole hour watching me sketch. But I thought it would be a fun little topic. I do love drawing horses, I think they're one of my favourite things to actually doodle. So yeah, sit back and relax and watch this as I sketch through some of my favourite horse breeds. I thought I'd stylize them a little bit just to give them a little bit more character. I definitely felt that as I was going through this page, after having done quite a few things in the day already, I was a little bit too tired really to be pushing through, but I think they came out okay. Uh, I was certainly worried that I was a bit frustrated that they weren't quite how I wanted them to be, but anyway, it's always good to kind of push through. If, um, you know, if you're, if you're struggling with drawing something, it's it's very easy to want to give up and I'm totally totally on board with that. I have definitely felt that many times in my life. But I thought you know, I want to practice what I preach and I definitely want to encourage people that even if they're finding that they're making mistakes or they're not happy with the work that they're making that it's okay to carry on and just see what happens because in the end you might actually be happy with the stuff that you've made. And I certainly feel that with this with this page or these pages at the beginning I was happy, I certainly loved doing the Shire horse, I think he's really cute. Uh, but later on with some of the other horses I was, you know, not ultimately very happy with them, but I'm starting to practice the whole progress is better than perfection. So imperfect, imperfect action is better than not doing anything at all. So whilst I'm not super happy with the stuff that I've made, I'm still posting them, I'm still sharing them, I'm still... You know, I'm not hiding or shying away from the fact that I didn't like them. So hopefully you can use that as a bit of inspiration in case you're struggling at the minute. So I haven't got much to update you on really. I feel like it's been a while since I've had a proper chat over the uh, over the YouTube videos. Though I do have a few, you know, a new freebie out for people who are struggling with motivation, which I'll link in the description below. Essentially is a is a one hour masterclass of all the things that I did when I was really struggling with finding motivation, they're the things that I found the most helpful when it came to inspiring me again. I know that a lot of us feel this when we're not very motivated, it's very easy to kind of, you know, feel that we're not doing very well. But I find that there are a few things, especially I've put the, put the three main things in this masterclass that Without them, I think I wouldn't be quite as motivated as I am today. And they're the things that took me from being completely and utterly kind of miserable with my art to being compelled to create. Every day that I sat down to do my art now, compared to how I was a couple years ago, everything I do now, I want to do it not because I not necessarily just because I want to but because I feel like I need to do it because I feel like I've got a purpose and I think that will help a lot of people who are struggling with motivation is identifying their reason why so that's one of the main things part of this free masterclass that I really would encourage you to sign up for it's completely free you know you've got instant access as soon as you sign up you can watch that video and you can learn what it takes to find your reason why you can also learn a bunch of techniques on how to improve your positivity. I know it sounds really feeble and it sounds a bit, you know, insulting in a way to say, oh, just be more positive. That's not what I'm saying at all. But there are a few things that you can do that will actually, well, if I, I find they help me massively, but they should be able to help you find the tools to increase your positivity when it comes to doing your artwork. It's not an easy task or something that's going to happen overnight. But with these these tips, I think they should help you massively to increase your positivity and therefore increase your motivation. Another part of the free masterclass is the tips I use to build my confidence. Now, it's one of those things that confidence comes with time, but there are a few things you can do to get almost immediate results when it comes to building your confidence. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds, you know, it's a really bold claim, but I do believe it. 
and it's one of those things that as soon as you've got your confidence and you combine it with positivity and finding your reason why suddenly there's a reason to go and put pencil to paper so if you sign like if you feel like this really speaks to you i urge you i encourage you please 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 come and find your motivation and sign up to my free masterclass it's gonna be in the description below and i can't wait to see you there there's a few bonuses for everybody who watches the masterclass too so don't worry it's not just a case of slog through the video hopefully the video is quite interesting for you anyway but there's a few things that i've got there as gifts to say thank you for signing up and thank you for watching the masterclass and thank you for prioritizing yourself you know you deserve to be creative you deserve to enjoy your craft no matter what your craft is if you're a creative person you know whether you do you know jewelry making or drawing or painting or sculpting you know no matter what it is you deserve to put yourself first you deserve to make art your priority so yes that's what i've made this masterclass about it's about finding your motivation and really engaging with yourself and finding what makes you tick so that was a little bit of information about my new freebie and I can't wait for you guys to sign up and start benefiting from it. The reason I made it is because a few years ago I was going through a really bad time. I was experiencing some severe depression, severe anxiety and I desperately wanted to use my art as therapy because art can be therapy. But every time I looked at my sketchbook, the pages would just stay blank and I would be so mad at myself for not making anything. And I found that I just couldn't live like that anymore. So I started working. I started to try and find the things that made me feel more motivated. And today, the things that I've put in that uh, masterclass are the th exact things that make me want to go to my sketchbook and put pencil to paper they're the things that make me feel inspired and creative and without them i don't know where i'd be really so i really believe that they work i'm you know putting my whole heart behind them and i would love it love it if they can inspire just one other person that would be you know that would be pretty awesome knowing that one other person has used the things that i've given them to build up their own life with their art, whether that's because they want to do it more as a hobby or whether they want to make it their career. I totally believe that you're capable of making art your career. Look, I'm doing it and I'm loving my life because of it. And I'm basically doing it because of the things that I put in this masterclass, you know? I am I find my reason why I'm more positive, I'm more confident, and as a result, my art is improving and I'm happier every single time I make something. Even these horses that I started off, you know, I was kind of happy and then I wasn't happy, but then I look at it at the end and I'm happy because I achieved something. I made progress even when I didn't want to. And for me, that's a huge success. So if I can help others and you can share in that success as well, I'm going to be so happy and so proud of you for taking that step. So yeah, just go ahead, get motivated. I know it sounds it sounds easier said than done, and it, believe me, it probably is. But it does it is not it's not easy to find that motivation. But I'm right here with you. I totally stand behind you, and I believe in you. You know, you're a creative person, and you deserve to create. It's a part of your being. The world needs it. So go ahead take that step I believe in you I totally believe in you I know it sounds probably crazy coming from a complete stranger on the other side of the internet but it's true I do believe in you so every step forward is a step in the right direction you know, make that progress and be proud of yourself rock it you know be proud that you are embracing yourself as a creative person you deserve it so that's me rambling done really <laughs> i'll leave you to just watch the last horse or last two horses i think i've got two more horses after no wait i've got this fjord which i'm finishing now and then i've got one more pony that i do after this one um so i'll leave you to it i know there's not much long lo you know not much longer left of this video but it's it's nice even though i'm not happy especially with this little dark or little ex more pony i'm not happy with them but it's imperfect progress it's making an action that you know it improves me naturally anyway because I'm making mistakes I'm not happy with it but I've still done it I've still made made progress and next time you know I might draw this same pony and be happy with it because I've done it better than I did before 
you know, it's a it's it's a good thing. It's always a good thing. And I, you know, I want you to be able to, you know, watch this video and believe in yourself too. So that's it pretty much. Just a little bit of sign off. I'll say if you enjoyed this content, please like, please subscribe. It massively helps. If you want to get a few tutorials, I'm just starting out actually in April, which is awesome. I'm doing tutorials on my Patreon. Little steps, um, you know, how to draw certain animals, draw certain aspects. So if you, if you really think that you want to improve yourself and you want my help, I'm doing some tutorials. So do sign up to my Patreon. I can't wait to see you there as well. So for now, I'll say goodbye. I'll say thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you on Patreon, on my Discord. You know, perhaps you want to sign up to my new course, see me over on the masterclass. I've got so much stuff. I've got so much stuff that I can't wait for you guys to enjoy as well. But there we have it. I'll say I'll say goodbye properly this time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!